Okay, so we're gonna really quickly go over some of the basic opening steps for making your mask. I say quickly, this is gonna be probably a longer video than our last one. If you're in my, um, pardon me, if you're in my uh, class that I'm teaching on Zoom um, with my clients, then you have your outer fabric already sewn together along this curved edge because that's how I packaged all of your kits. Um, if you are making your own or if whatever, you'll need to pin that and sew it. So what I'm going to do next is we have our middle layer. This is our filter layer. So for my clients, it's either this fabric or it's a white fabric that's got orange elephants on it. So what you're going to do is you're going to take these, and I don't care which direction they go, but you're going to pin them together, grabbing the points at the top, and you're going to be pinning along this curved edge. I don't care which direction the fabric goes, no one's ever going to see this. It'll be on the inside of your mask, okay? So then what we're going to do is along this edge, we're going to pin it. Now for this video today, I'm only going to get you guys up to the point of pinning the first couple pieces because I don't want you to go beyond that and that's how far we got in our lab today. So I've got from the top to the bottom on the filter layer. So that's your thicker layer, which in your case is this fabric or fabric with orange elephants. And this is your pin side. And I went ahead and I had drawn a line during our lab so you could see where you're going to be sewing. All right, so now you should have this one that I sewn and this one that you've pinned. Next up, we're going to do the same thing again with our lining layer. Our lining layer is the white cotton layer. Okay, so this one here, there's two pieces. Don't care which direction they go because they're the same on either side. We're going to lay them together like this, and we're going to pin it along this curve. My dogs are barking to get in. I'm going to have to let them in in a second. So once you have that pinned, it'll look something like this. You can draw a line on it. I did already during our lab today, so you can see that's on there. So now what you have is you have the layer I sewed. You have your filter layer. Again, it's all the same curved edge. And you have your lining layer. This is what you wanna to get to this point. And then you are going to thread your needle and you're going to sew along this line and then you're going to go back up again. Remember, we do it twice. We always do them twice uh, for your hand sewing. Then you're gonna take your lining layer, start at the top, you're gonna go all the way down, all the way back up. Once you're done doing that, you're going to go through, pardon me, and make sure you cannot poke your finger through any of the holes. If you can poke your finger through, then it's not sewn enough that it's gonna actually be effective to keep out uh, any kind of germs and it's gonna fall apart. Make sure it's really neat, tidy, tiny little stitches, okay? Once you get to that point, we will meet back here on Friday, and on Friday, we will discuss how far you guys got, and then we will go from there. All right, if you have any other questions, you guys all know how to get a hold of me. I'll talk to you later.